Hello YouTube, I'm so excited because I just got this shipment delivered from Moterm that I've been waiting quite a while for. It is the A5 Veg Tan Leather Rings Binder. So I cannot wait to open it with you guys. Welcome to No Sheen at Home, where I share my love of gardening, journaling, and home improvement projects. Please subscribe, give this video a like, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Okay, so here it is. I have not taken it out of the box yet, so I'm just gonna do that. with this leather fly leaf. So this is included. This is in the color Midnight, which is their black color. And again, it's the veg tan leather, which is a little bit more expensive than their regular leather, but I find it to be better quality. I do have another um, veg tan leather cover from them that I'm really, really happy with. So um, it's the six ring A5 size. This has a nice pen loop and a pocket. Okay, moving on to the main, the main event. This is the binder. Comes in a beautiful bag. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Such a soft leather. This is like a little bit bigger than an A5. Um, let me show you my, this is a um, Astology A5 notebook in, and it's inside of a Galen leather A5 cover. So you can see just how much how much bigger this is. And part of it is probably to make room for the rings, but also I think there's just extra room built in. Like this is a pretty large, this is a pretty large notebook. Okay, so it's got this beautiful button closure with the two buttons. The back looks like this. Oh, it comes with paper. I did not know that. It comes with, make sure I'm in frame. It comes with this lined memo paper. Let's open this up. Very nice paper that is a little bit cream. Not quite white, a little bit cream has the days of the week, Monday through Sunday, the weather, sunny, partly cloudy, rainy, uh, memo number, and date. And it's lined on both sides. So that's something nice to get, just to get you started. Okay. And then here is, oh, are we in frame? Here we go. Here is the binder. Oh my gosh. So let's take off this little protector. Okay, these are the rings. Then we have, we have a zip pocket here. That's a pretty deep pocket. These are little card slots. And then this is a flap. So more storage here. Same on the other side, oh, pen loop, pocket. These are all card slots. Okay. A sleeve here, one here, and then another here. And then this whole back opens up. <coughs> So you have all of this storage in the back. You could put whole documents in here if you wanted to. Okay. So that is what this came with. It came with the fly leaf and the binder and the paper. 
So let me actually put all of that together, but let me show you two other accessories that I bought separately. Okay, so I bought this. This is like a leather protector. So, this is supposed to protect the leather from getting um, like indentations from the from the rings. Okay, so I think it goes on like this. So this is not something you have to buy, but I really wanted my binder to last a long time. Um, so I thought it would be nice to have, and I don't think this was a very expensive accessory. Um, so that goes there, and that way, over time, you're not getting, you know, this part like all indented from, from the rings. Then the other thing I bought was just some blank paper in the A5 size with the six ring hole punch. So there is the blank paper again, same color, very beautiful cream colored paper. Looks like a nice quality paper. I'm hoping it's fountain pen friendly. I'm sure it is, it probably is. So now I have lots of paper because it came with paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the fly leaf in first, because I like to have that in the back. And then I will put in all of the paper just to show you how much paper fits in this. Oh yeah, that was very easy to get in. There's still room to spare. Like that was, that was easy plenty of room left still. And that's, I don't know how much paper that is, but it's quite a lot. I mean, that's easily a couple hundred sheets, it looks like, if I have to guess. So let's see how that looks closed. Nice. Very sturdy, gorgeous, gorgeous black leather, very professional looking. Like, this is something you could take to work, to an interview. Um, it, you know, it is substantial, like it's, it's heavy, full of paper like this. This is a heavy planner um, to carry around, but um, I'm planning on having it just live here on my desk for now. But it's very um, classic and very professional looking. Okay, so it's actually a few days later and I'm finally getting around to setting up this A5 agenda as a weight loss journal. So let me zoom in and show you what I have. So what I did was I printed out some inserts that I designed using free Canva templates. So this is just a cover page that says weight loss health journal. This is a meal tracker. Again, I used a free template and I kind of customized it to have you know, what I needed. So make sure you guys can see that. I have my, um, you know, the date, my daily motivation, what I had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which I would track here. And that would include like any snacks. So if I have like a mid-morning snack or an afternoon snack, I would put that there. My water intake, um, eight glasses of water is my goal, um, or 64 ounces of water every day. This is my grocery list where I would put um, what, I, what I need from the grocery for tomorrow's meals. So like planning one day ahead. And we live here in Brooklyn, so we pretty much go to the grocery store almost every day. It's just like a short walk around the corner. So um, I don't need to like plan a, a whole week's worth of groceries in advance. So this is just for the next day. Then keeping track of my caffeine intake, um, any alcohol if I had it, how many hours of sleep I'm getting, which is an area that I really struggle with. So that I would just copy over from my Apple Watch, from the uh, health app. Same with um, how many steps I got that day. 
And then here I would put down any exercise that I did other than walking. So if I did a Peloton ride, I would put here that I did a Peloton ride. And then here, just a couple um, sentences about how I'm feeling that day. So that is the meal tracker. And I printed that out on the blank um, A5 paper that I bought and I printed it double-sided. So I can just flip like that. So that's the meal tracker. And then I also did these recipe cards. So I have to be very honest with you. I don't like to cook and I don't cook a lot. And I'm very grateful to my husband because he um, does most of the cooking in our family. But because I'm on this low carb diet, I do have to um, change how I cook and you know kind of modify the recipes to be really high in protein and vegetables and really low in carbs. So um, I just thought I would maybe use these to copy over some of the recommended recipes and um, yeah, just try that out. And I decided to print these single-sided just because if I wanted to take one out and take that to the kitchen with me instead of taking the whole um, agenda with me, that would be easier. So, okay, the next thing I bought were these clear dividers. Let's see, so these are just clear plastic dividers that I got on Amazon in the A5 size. Let's open that up. They are a set of six, which is more than what I need. So, yep, you put the label there and there are six of them. And then I happen to have one of these um, label printers. So I, since my handwriting isn't the best, I thought I would use that to put the labels on the tabs. So I should, I should have started off by saying that the weight loss program that I'm on is called Optavia. Um, and so they give you this guide. Um, and so, um, you know, what it is, it's like, a, it's a very low carb diet. Um, and they like, they give you like little snacks or fuelings throughout the day, like shakes and bars and stuff. And then you have one large meal at some point during the day. It can be like a midday meal or it can be um, dinner of a large serving of lean protein and three servings of vegetables and then some healthy fats. So um, what I did is I went in to the guide and I pulled out some of the like serving size recommendations that they have in here for the proteins and the vegetables and the healthy fats. And I'm going to print those out and put those in my journal too, just to have like easy reference to them. So here are the serving sizes. And again, this is all from the Optavia guide. I didn't come up with any of this, but I just kind of copied out what was most relevant to me in terms of what I'm likely to eat. So, you know, the, the lean, the leanest fats, the leaner, uh, sorry, the leanest proteins, the leaner proteins, and then the lean proteins, and then how much of each would constitute a serving size. And then if you have really like the leanest protein, you can also have servings of healthy fats and so on. So that's how the program works. Um, and then here I have Vegetable serving sizes, um, you know, again, depending on the vegetable, the serving size changes. So like really, really low carb vegetables like lettuce, one serving is one cup. Um, most vegetables are kind of here in the half cup range and you're supposed to eat three servings of vegetables per day. These are some of the healthy fats. Um, obviously, you know, you want to try to avoid the saturated fats and, you know, focus on the monounsaturated or polyunsaturated fats. For me, I've been using olive oil to cook everything um, and, you know, sometimes having like some avocado um, or, you know, just like um, some olives or something as a snack. So that's that. And then I also did a little um, list of approved salad dressings. These are not the only approved salad dressings, but these are just the ones that I like. Um, and so um, one serving would be one tablespoon, um, which would count as a healthy fat. So that is everything I plan on putting in. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the dividers and then put together the planner. So um, I think the first section that I wanna have is the serving sizes so 
And I think I've got to use a pretty small font to get it to fit. You see how small um, that tab is? So let's see, let's do like, a, how do I get it smaller? I can't even remember. Here we go, point 0.10, let's try that. Um, we'll call it serving sizes. Let's do a lowercase. Serving sizes. Okay. Oh yeah, I could have gone a little bit bigger. I feel like I could have gone, no. Yes, no, maybe. I need to actually cut this down a little bit. There's my first label, if you can see that. Serving sizes. So I went ahead and did the rest of the labels off camera. So I have four different sections for my journal. I have serving sizes, meal tracker, recipes, and journal. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the agenda. So let's set it up. So I'm gonna go from the back to the front. So in journal, I just wanted to put, make sure you guys can actually see. Can you guys see? All right. I wanted to put just some of these, um, you know, pages that came with the planner itself, the lined pages, cause I figured, you know, I could journal about how my diet is going, how I'm feeling, and I like that they're undated so I don't feel pressured to have to write in here every day if I don't want to, but I can write whenever I feel like it. I feel like I'm more likely to stick with the diet if I'm journaling about it. So that's the journal section. Then here, I'm gonna put my recipe cards. Again, these are all based on free templates that I got on Canva. So, you know, I just like changed the fonts a little bit and, you know, put in what I needed, but it's got name of the dish, how many it serves, prep time, cook time, ingredients, directions, notes. And then if I want to put a photo of what I cooked, I can put it there or I could just leave that blank. Okay, this is the meal tracker section. Okay, so this is really the main part of the journal for me because the only way I'm gonna succeed on this program is if I keep track of everything that I'm eating. So again, I did these double-sided to keep track of everything I'm eating, water intake, sleep, exercise, how I'm feeling, and um, also just to plan ahead a little bit, so have a grocery list for what I'm gonna eat the next day. And I did do these double-sided, just to save some paper that way. And finally, my serving sizes. Okay, I will just put those cheat sheets in here, just for ease of reference. Proteins, vegetables, healthy fats, my little salad dressing cheat sheet. And what I'm gonna do, I might actually do the cover page behind the first divider just to, so the plastic protects the paper a little bit better. I think that will look better. Okay, so weight loss journal, there it is. There's the final product, I'm very excited. Um, maybe we should do, should we do a quick, a quick flip through? 
Let me get it a little closer here. Um, yep. Cover page, serving sizes, meal tracker, recipes, and my journal. And so I will just stick the Optavia guide probably just in here for now. So it's right where I need it to be. And I'm gonna put some um, of these craft paper sticky notes that I have in here somewhere just cause they're like useful to have. Or should I put those back here maybe? And then I got these little page markers with something else I bought recently. So I thought maybe I would just stick those in there in case I need them to like uh, mark a recipe or something. Um, let's stick a pen in here. That's important. Let me grab a pen. Put a pen in here. Should I put a highlighter? I feel like, why not, right? Let's stick a highlighter in since this comes with two pen loops. And that is it. That is my completed weight loss journal. I am super excited and it closes very easily still, even with that like manual inside of it. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I definitely feel like since I'm on a weight loss program, like combining it with my love of journaling is just gonna help me to stick with it. You know what I mean? Cause it would just be more fun for me this way. So, and I can definitely see myself using this agenda for like other purposes in the future. Like it doesn't always have to be a weight loss journal. It can be, you know, like maybe next year, this is my everyday planner. Like this is really, this is really nice. I'm very, very happy with this. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I um, hope that you'll subscribe if you like this kind of content. And uh, yeah, see you next time.